Here is the Godzilla 1972 box. It is very nice. Promo shots of the figure has a very nice opening with a slash in it, and it looks very, very nice. Now, let's get right to the figure. Here is the actual figure. He looks very nice. It comes with an extra hat to replicate when he got hit in the face with Gigan's buzzsaw. The figure has a very nice charcoal black color. There are also some very nice green accents. And especially with those dorsal plates that have a very nice silver. Now, as you can see inside there, the teeth is very nicely sculpted. And it's not as bloody as I thought it would be. It's very actually really well sculpted and very well painted. And it does look better than most SH Monster Arts figures in the line. Okay, now let's take a look at these claws. The claws are very nicely sculpted in and have a very nice uh, tan and white embedded in them. And they have no unpainted things. Same with the toes and they look very nice and sculpted. They are the same color as the fingernails. And they do shine under certain lighting. They're not really shining under my light, but that's okay. Now, let's go over to Sculpt. This sculpt is extremely accurate to the source material. I do have one complaint about the figure, and it's one of these dorsal plates. Now, when I first got this out of the box, I'm like, oh, my dorsal plate didn't fall off. But it falls off kind of easily, which I don't mind because it is meant to pop off. But I'm not as mad as I thought I would be. Now, let's go to accessories. Now, Godzilla 972 comes with an optional replaceable head. You don't have to put this on the figure, but it looks extremely nice on the figure. So let me put this on. I will say, make sure this ball joint is straight. It'll make sure the head will be popped on easier. And there we go. We have the optional head on. Now, this does take a little bit of force to get onto. Now, when I was exchanging heads, I did notice one difference between them. And that is the paint on the back of the dorsal, like the back of the dorsal fins on the back of the head. All, as you can see here, it goes all the way up, right here, but on, my, on the actual non-damaged head, it doesn't go up as far. I don't know if that's going to annoy you, and there's also a bit more paint on this side as the other one. I don't know if that's going to annoy you if you pick up this figure, but it doesn't annoy me that much, because I will always display this with the actual head. Good thing this figure is a very nice to pose. We have a ball joint at the head, and there's also a two segments here, so it can look down about that far and if we use the full extent of the next we can look down about that far and if we use the next it can look about that far now when we come to the torso we have a ball joint here and a ball joint here and it looks it helps us look even more further down it can look pretty far down but there is be wary that oh wow that can go down pretty far it can yeah, that's very far down. Wow, I was not expecting it to go down that far. But I do be careful because when I first got this figure, this ball joint was extremely tight. I did have to swivel a little bit to get it less tight. Just be mindful of that. And also, when you're posing it back up, just be careful when you're not, that you don't want to hit this. Just move this up a little bit when you're posing. Now, when it comes to the arms, the arm can go, can do a 360. There is a bend at the elbow. There is a swivel, a, a medium spread for the figure. It doesn't go as far as other figures, but you can also fake one if you move up the legs. There is a bend at the knee, and there's also a, a, a calf swivel right here. It does not exist in real life. Don't look for it. Where's the calf swivel? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the calf swivel? And there is a ball joint here at the at the ankle. It could do for a very medium pivot. It's not great, but not bad either. Now, we come to the tail. Oh my god. This tail is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. I, I counted about 16 points of articulation in the tail. I can allow some for some very curvaceous tail poses. I can get to anything. But also, another feature with this figure is it can go all the way up to his groinal area now i will be careful because this ball joints will pop out probably if you force it too hard so please be careful and mindful so you don't pop out the ball joint and break the ball joint here is the sh monster arts gamma 1999 kyoto's SF battle version here is the sh monster arts kong 2021 here is the sh monster arts godzilla final wars i highly suggest picking this figure up this figure is very nice and i'll give him a four out of five this figure is very nice, very well articulated, very well painted, 
and this is worth adding to your collection. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!